All right, hello, welcome back, fellow entrepreneurs. Today we are trying to build a under construction page. This is very useful if you are updating your website or if you are planning to launch your website very soon, you can make an under construction page, a coming soon page, anything like this so that customers can't access a site that is under construction or is not completed yet, impacting your brand and your social proof. So what we can do from within our Shopify admin is first we want to go to online store and you want to click preferences and then we will scroll to the bottom of the page and this is step number one the password protection page so this can be enabled or disabled anytime by clicking this button right here now this is just a quick trial store so in order for me to enable this I have to pick a plan but this is where you can set the password so that you or your staff or select early access customers can access the store and you can also add a custom customer message in this box here. We will hit save to see our experiment. So because I'm in a trial status, I cannot disable this feature. But if you click this box right here, you can enable and disable the password page whenever you like, whenever you're doing updates or you're releasing major product. So now that our password page is enabled because the box is checked right here and our password is in, if we click online store and then themes, and we go over here to customize to get to our customizer screen. And then right here at the top, we will see a little drop down for our pages. So if we select others right here at the bottom, we can then find our password page. So because the password page is enabled, this is what the customer will see. Obviously this is a trial store and there's no customization going on yet, but we can make this a little nicer. So if I click on the heading, we can change our heading to whatever we'd like. For example, under construction, or you can write coming soon. You can write whatever you'd like here, change the heading size so that it's nice and clear. And then in your paragraph section, you can change the paragraph font to whatever you'd like. Now with Shopify magic, writing any sort of content is very easy. So we're just gonna write coming soon, sign, up for early access. And we'll put this in a playful tone. We can hit generate and it'll give us some examples here. Be the first to experience our quirky and fun online store. Sign up now for early access. Sure. And then we do have an email form so that people can sign up and you can let them know when the site is live. So this password protection page has two main features. It tells customers what is going on, but it also can let you still build your customer list, your email list, because it has an email bar that people can put in here. So for example, if you're, so, if you're advertising on social media, your brand and your website is still coming together and you have your password protection page up so that customers can't enter, they can still enter their password. For example, if you are advertising maybe a discount code here or anything here, they can enter their email here and stay in the know. What I like to usually do is I increase in my stores in the past is I usually increase the opacity here so that this is very clear. It kind of puts up the construction tape in a way because this is what's happening and upon full release or I had one store one time that as this got closer and closer, the team would make this less and less blurred out. Just one idea. We just want to make sure our customers are very clear on what's happening. So we can make a nice large banner here and you can edit the color scheme. You can do all kinds of things. You can add your branded image like so, and you can do all sorts of customizations. You can change your color scheme and it will do anything you want. The other most important thing that customers using the password protection page will see is in the top right corner, they can enter using a password. So a lot of times in one of my stores that I used to do was that we would advertise that the website is coming. We would advertise on social media that there is an early access sale going on. You can sign up for the sale and get a discount code, which was advertised in this message, also on our social media platform. So our customer email base would go up and then we would have the site in a sort of light, quote unquote, light version with very limited product selection so that customers who are on early access and receive the password from our email list or they're on social media and they follow us on social media and they were able to get the early access password is kind of a fun way to encourage our 
our early access customers and, and reward those most loyal customers to enter the site using the password. So if we click here, this is another branded page that you can change the color and you have a few limited settings here. And this is where the password is used in the password setting. It's also very important to note that when you are enabling and disabling your password, all your pages won't be displayed on the SERP, the SERP page, the search engine result page. So if you have your, your password enabled, the only site that will be browsable in the search engine result page, it won't show all your products and all your about pages and all your links. It will just show the password page and that's it. So that's it. Nice and simple. One little checkbox and one little screen to customize no matter what you want to display or whatever's happening with your store. You can enable a password, enable an on under construction page or an early access or coming soon page so that you can maintain your brand's integrity, not ruin any customer experiences by having them click onto a site that is under construction and just look more professional and more control overall. Well, congratulations, you've reached the end of this tutorial. You have now accomplished the goal that you set out to do today. You are one step closer to achieving your dream. If this video has helped you, leave a like so I know. I just like helping fellow entrepreneurs. If you want to join a community of like-minded entrepreneurs and learn from someone who's been in the business and has run multiple Shopify stores for a long period of time, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.